so hello everyone uh, today we are going to discuss about the most famous architecture pattern named as mvvm so hello guys welcome to the presentation of the mvvm architecture in android uh, in this presentation we are going to discuss what mvvm is and why is this important and how to implement the android approach so moving to the uh, next slide uh, what is mvvm so mvvm is a basic architecture pattern as we are discussing that it is the famous development platform like we can follow the architecture of this mvvm so mvvm is basically stand for model view view model it is an architecture pattern used on the software development that uh, separate the ui logic from the business logic mvvm was the first introduced by the microsoft uh, for their uh, wpf and uh, uh, silver light applications so that is uh, mvvm uh, so it is the famous type of the architecture pattern that the latest uh, developer are going to follow it uh, because it will uh, structure the code and follow the code methodology so moving to the next slide uh, why it is important like why mvvm is important so mvvm helps to organize the code and make it more maintainable so if uh, i develop a code on mvvm architecture so when i leave the code or leave the organization though so the other member will be sit on the chair of the uh, engineer post so it will be able to maintain the code and make it uh, and easy to understandable also so mvvm helps to organize the code and make it more maintainable it makes it easier to test the ui and the business logic separately so we can uh, test the ui also and business logic uh, from separately we don't depend on both of the thing like uh, we have to test the ui uh, which is dependent on the business logic so we can test it separately so it is it promotes the loose coupling means loose dependency between the different component uh, of an application like each component will be loosely coupled it is not uh, tight coupled with uh, any of the any of the other features or any of the other component of the application it is a loose couple so it is not depend on the one another so if you disturb some of the code it is not going to disturb whole the project so we can uh, basically work on any of the feature or any of the component of the android application so uh, it can also help to make the ui more responsive uh, and uh, by using the data binding so data binding is the concept we can just uh, write in the ui logic uh, so ui is more responsive by using the data binding as we as we know that in android so moving to the next slide uh, how mvvm works how does mvvm works so the model presents the data and the business logic of the application so model is the basically model is the class which we are defining uh, which is the data and the business logic of the application like uh, the model class we have declared in the for uh, achieving the data is known as the model class and the model represents what is view here view is the basically user interface and the ui interact with so the first screen you are going to see on the mobile application it is the view okay so uh, by using this view uh, the user can interact with the application and now what is view model view model is basically acts as a mediator between the view and the model so it exposes the data from the model to the view and update the model based on the user interface so in interaction so basically view model and the interface are basic same type of things as we can discuss in previous video as well so view model is basically it's a type of mediator or or we can say like it is a bridge between the view and the model it exposes the data from the model to the view so it uh, when we ex extract the data from the model class and render it to the view so by using the view on the xml file we can render it data by using the data binding or using the find view by id uh, function methods uh, in the android so uh, these after updating the model it is based on the user uh, interaction so that is how the mvvm works and what are the advantages of the mvvm so the separation of the concern is like uh, mvvm is separate from the ui logic a uh, separate the ui logic from the business logic as we can discuss on the first slide uh, second slide so it make me easier to maintain the maintain and the test testing and testability uh, so we can it is easy to test uh, yeah, that is the good advantage of the mvvm uh, architecture pattern mvvm makes it easier to write the unit uh, unit test cases and the business logic and the ui separately 
and now the third one is the data binding uh, mvvm makes it easier to use the data binding to update the ui based on the change on the changes of the model and the last one and last but not the least is the reusability so mvvm promotes the loose coupling between the component and make the uh, making it easier to reuse the code in a different part of the application so once we created a class we can just use uh, use uh, reuse it in for the making the component like uh, if you, we, are, we are using the play uh, we are creating a play class in a music player so we can just use this class for playing any of the component of the android application so this is called reusability we can reuse the code uh, once we create it and we can use reuse it like in inheritance we can do it so moving to the next slide uh, how we can implement the mvvm in android so the next slide is about the implementing the mvvm in the android application so to implement the mvvm in the android we need to create a view model a view and a model so as we are discussing the uh, uh, this previous part so like we just need to create a view model class and a view like xml file and a model class to store the data so the view model is exposes the data from the model so view model what is doing is like expose the data from the model class and render it to uh, render it to view by using the live data so if it changes some ch do some changes in the uh, database it will automatically redirect it to the uh, view by using the live data live data is means the changes can be continuously monitored by the view model the uh, third and um, third part is the like the view is observed that li live data from the view view model and updates the ui based on the changes so the model contains the business logic and the data so in the model class we can contain the business logic as well as the data so moving to the next slide like what is the conclusion of the mvvm mvvm is an important architecture pattern by developing to maintainable testable and responsive android application so it promotes the separation from the concern of the testability, reusability, and the data binding. With the help of view model, the view and the model, we can implement the MVVM in the Android application and take the advantage and use benefit. So uh, that's all about this video. Uh, in this video, we are learn about the MVVM, uh, MVVM architecture technology. So I hope you can learn a lot of things about the MVVM. So for for better understanding, we need to practice the code in the MVVM architecture pattern and it will be very good for it. So, thank you so much and have a nice day.